Welcome back to the booth. Are we recording? Yes. Okay, I didn't realize you had turned it on. Um, I'm sneaky like Yeah, that. welcome back to the VO booth. I'm Tyrone. I'm like two ninjas taped together. <laughs> Which wouldn't be as sneaky, probably. <laughs> no, they're they're efficiently more sneaky. Okay. So I have to jump on this, jump on this. Yes. Or you could you can run underneath them if you really wanted to. Mm, I don't really want to. I can't wait to get to World 7. What's in World 7? It's Pipeland, which is a bunch of mazes, basically. I can, I can, okay. It's, it's just fun. I like, I like World 7. This, a lot of, a lot of them, like, have this kind of background, so that's why I, I, I thought of it. I'm very much not into maze. Oh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Slippery little Louis. Enjoy these ruffle french fries. Oh, yeah, I don't want to eat. But, um... I'm gonna take this mushroom, though. This toad house. Yeah, I left it for you. Did you really? Well, because I got a bunch of other items when I was playing the match game. Which I did off camera. <laughs> actually, yeah, I actually did pretty well. I think I got, like, three matches. Nice. I've been dominating that match game. <laughs> no, <it's> like... <laughs> Ooh, nice. Skills to pay the bills, brother. You know, despite my initial criticism that, like... Oh, this this isn't as going as well as I thought. We're actually doing pretty well. I think so. Like we're on world four and we're on episode what? Five or six? I think it's been it's been more than five and six. I don't think so. Oh no, it says right here. Nine. Episode nine. Oh. Uh, probably eight actually, because I think one of those is a misfire. But Yeah. In Milga Rising, we were on the second level at Shh. episode ten. Shh. That never happened. It, well, it, it clearly did because I posted the videos already. <laughs> The evidence does not prove anything. If the gloves don't fit, you must acquit. Speaking of evidence, you know what game series I've been like obsessively playing? What's that? Uh, the Ace Attorney games. Oh, dude, I love Ace Attorney. Have you played them? Yeah, Phoenix Wright. Have you played them all? No, I have not played them all. I've only played the one for the DS. Well, there, there are, there are a bunch of them for the DS. Oh my gosh! Well, the way it, um, the way it is, is that the first three games mm -hmm. were originally on the Game Boy Advance, right. and then they ported those to the DS, and then there were several games that were, you know, DS only, and then they came out with one for the 3DS, a few. Do you know who is the voice of Ace Attorney? Phoenix right? Who? JP. Really? Yep. Did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I read it on Wikipedia that he, uh... You know what? I think I did see something in credits, JP something, but I... Yeah. I... Didn't see his last name. Interesting. That is okay, him. I did Our friend JP, who's a producer. Uh, I, I did see uh, that he had done some. Uh... Does he still do the voice though? No, no, no. I think he. I think he did it when he worked at Capcom. Yeah. What so that would be that probably be just the first three games, but yeah, um, maybe even the other game. But um, I saw that he had done translation work. I didn't realize he had done he had done the voice as well though. Yeah. Totally. Interesting. I think it was because he was one of the few English speaking people in uh in the office at the time and they just needed they just needed a voice and he did it. That could say the three words that Phoenix Wright says correctly. <laughs> Objection! Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Hold it. Press start for me. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. But yeah, I've been playing um how it kinda of started was they came out with a port for the iOS several years ago oh, nice. and I never really beat it. But then they came out with the other two games as well, like HD versions, which aren't actually very good because it's whoever did the <laughs> QC on it didn't do a good job. Um, but I mean, in terms of telling the story, they're fine. Like, right. Um, but yeah, I've gotten really into the game. So I've I've beaten the first. Uh, I beat the original trilogy, um, and now I'm on like the first kind of spin-off game. Nice. And uh, yeah, those were fun games, man. I have nothing against those games. Have you? But you—you you only played the first one, though, right? Yeah. I've only okay. Played the first one. Have you beaten it? Uh, several times. Really? Yeah. You played it several times? I did. But it has no replay value. What? The, yes, it does. How? You can do better the next time. There's no doing better. They're just doing it faster. Well, which I guess that's better. Better, but no, it's one of those games. It's like it—it—it—it it, 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 it takes very little uh, brain power after the first time, obviously. But it's something to do. Well, very little. I mean, it takes none, if you remember. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's... Just... Okay, I, I guess I won't judge. I mean, if you get re... I, it, that's just so weird to me, though, because, like, after I put down one of the games, like, I have no desire to... No desire to play again? That's... No, like... 
And by, music... by several, I mean like you know, I've continued to play it a few times on my DS because it's there. Okay. Because it's one of the ones I downloaded. Oh wait, are you are you talking about the original game? Or are you talking about the game that just came out? Ah, uh, the original. Okay. Um, yeah, but it, it's it's funny though because they came out on the iPhone and they're about set, six to seven bucks each, um, which is really good because. One of the most surprising things about... Um, I'm ready for battle. Here we go. All right. One of the most amazing things about the game is that... That surprised me is that they're actually pretty long games. Yeah, um, they are. At least the one I've Like, I've, I've, I've lost sleep, like, because I had to stay up and find out what happened <laughs> next. Um, and... Oh, my God. What is going on? I don't know, man. Oh! It's so funny, though. I'm so angry. It, I'm going my own eyes out right now. It's so funny. Um, going back to Phoenix Wright, like, it's so funny because you read the reviews about the iOS version, uh -huh. and a criticism I would have of the iOS version is that it's just the whoever proofread it, like the text, did a horrible job because <laughs> uh, there's like errors everywhere. Right. Um, but the other complaint is that since people who own iPhones are so used to paying like ninety nine cents for a game, true. They look, <laughs> they see that the games are, you know, six or seven bucks. They're like, this is a ripoff. I'd buy this game if it was like, a you know, a dollar nine, something, you know, something like that. And like, I went on like, how long to beat? Have you been to that site? No. It basically like people submit how long it took them to beat a game. Oh, that's cool. So you get like an average of like, this is how long it should take you to beat the game. This is how long it takes you to beat it if you did everything. Right. Um, so like, I'll look on Phoenix Wright games and like people have, you know, times of like, 15 20 hours yeah and it's like for seven bucks that's good like oh totally i think this almost kind of goes back to the indie game conversation we were having earlier but like i think people have really lost sight of like how much a game is worth it's true like i always compare it to movies because to we see a movie out here is like if the movie itself depending on where you go depending on what time you see it averages about like 12 dollars and if you're unemployed, they usually have deals on Tuesdays. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. And there's the two dollar deal theater down on uh, down in North Hollywood, the, the inferior Hollywood. Uh huh. Uh, anyways, um, oh my gosh, I'm really I whoa, dude, I am really sucking. Uh. Anyway, to continue the conversation, right, um, like... I always compare it to movies though, because oh my. I'm done. I'm we're done. done. We're done with this game. No, we're not. I'm done with my own. We have plenty own. of other games. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna get this. If I don't beat this next time, I'm done. All right. Well, but, hey, we're. Uh... I've never been frustrated with this game in my life. This is a new experience for me. Uh. Anyways, uh, but you pay like fifteen, twenty dollars for literally a two-hour experience, sure. and that's all you get out of it. And where if you pay fifteen dollars for something that that is easily $15, $20, okay, let's say $60. $60 for a game that takes 10 hours, you're paying the same amount for the same amount of, uh, same amount of, uh... Yeah. Blah. Um, and so I've, I've, I always tend to compare it to how long a movie is and how much I pay for a movie. So, if it's, if a game cost me $5 and it took me seven, if it took me seven hours to play, I still feel like I'm getting a deal. Phoenix Wright takes me way more longer than seven hours to play. Yeah, it it's surprising. <laughs> like the first game, the first game isn't super long. It's it, like it wasn't. It didn't defy my expectations of how long it would be. But like the other two games, it's like shoot. Like yeah. there are times when I was like, all right, we're wrapping things up, and it's like ah, like <laughs> so many unanswered questions still. And like I, you know, and then the game goes on for another five hours. Like it was surprisingly long. Um, so it was just kind of a. It's like the main example I now use when I talk about how people don't, the value, like people don't understand the value of a game anymore. Mm -hmm. Cause like, I used to use kind of Journey as an example, cause it was $15 and a lot of people think that's not enough. Right. Um, cause again, honestly, Journey is only two hours. And if you don't, I, there are a lot, like I thought Journey had decent replay value. I thought so too. Uh, especially, again, especially also... cause the way the multiplayer worked. But uh -huh. mm. at the same time, like, I can under I can understand people not wanting to pay fifteen bucks for a t you know an experience that could just only be two or three hours. Sure, because that actually is comparable to a movie, totally. like an expensive movie. Um, but yeah, like iPhone reviews for anything that's over five bucks, 
like or even over three bucks really like right. so critical and like they don't like it, it upsets me because like kind of working in the game business like right. i have i get a small like we you know obviously we don't work for developers We're, right we should, can we talk we should talk we should we should this should be a topic of conversation from from the beginning of an episode because i have a lot of opinions on that about about working in the game industry and our and like just a view on it as compared to what we see a lot of comments about. Um, yeah, go ahead. I think your, your opinions are probably stronger. Why don't you? Uh, <laughs> I have I have very strong opinions about take things, the reins, but uh, that'll and be also next take... time on the VO booth. Oh, okay. Just right of time. All right, cliffhanger. All right, cliffhanger. All right, see you guys next time.